Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. I'm happy to share with you that I'm becoming a senior citizen from tomorrow. Uh, I'm turning 60. Although my on my record the birth date is uh, 7th of May, by my actual birth is on uh, 27th of March. So that is tomorrow. So as a part of my 60th birthday celebration, uh, we are offering 20% discount for all the courses that we have. Uh, we have few courses like, you know, iron collar strategy, uh, intraday short straddle strategy, super trend strategy, etc. So if you want to avoid the 20% discount for the courses, you can check the uh, description for the details. Markets were just consolidating. Uh, I would say today's market action is uh, slightly disappointing. The global queues were good. You know, in the afternoon, Europe opened firmly in green. Right now, all the European markets are higher, US futures are higher, most of the Asian markets were higher. You know, but despite that, you know, uh, GIF Nifty indicated only 30-40 point gap down. But in the morning, markets went down and the banks were down. And today, HDFC Bank was down, ICICI Bank was down, uh, State Bank was down, you know, Kotak Bank was down. You know, except Axis Bank, I think most of the banks were down. TCS was down, Infosys down, Reliance down. You know, all these are like, uh, you know, heavyweight, index heavyweight stocks and all of them are falling. You know, but broader market did better. And the broader markets were okay, but the, this is, you know, a large cap selling. So, large cap selling means probably FA selling may be there. So, we have to wait and see. The data is still not out. HDFC Bank ADR was higher yesterday. So, I was hoping that, you know, HDFC Bank to do better. And in fact, in the pre-market, I said, you know, Bank Nifty may outperform. But actually, to the surprise, it has actually underperformed. And the Bank Nifty has underperformed, financials underperformed, IT underperformed, FMCG underperformed. It's only the broader market, you know, so that, you know, uh, kept the downside for the Nifty. So, you know, in fact, I'll tell you one interesting thing. About one and a half month before, I came out with a video suggesting uh, buy HDFC bank shares and then sell both call and put. You know, it are trading closer to 100 point premium. And nearly after one and a half month, you know, uh, you, know to, you know, like maybe in two days time, there is an expiry. Uh, nearly after one and a half month, and the HDFC bank has come back to the same place where it was there about one and a half months before. So, uh, those people who have bought it in the cash market, there's no loss, no gain. It was absolutely in the same place, but both call and put would have given uh, nearly 100 point premium. So, that will be, you know, a nearly 7-8% return. So, you know, investing and getting 7-8% return in one month, one and a half month, it's something very, very great in this market. So anyway, I will come out with a separate video uh, about my recommendation in HDFC Bank and uh, Bajaj Finance. Bajaj Finance has done very well, right? So uh, large large cap index heavyweight stocks fell, but while the broader markets were done, but you know, um, though market was a little bit disappointing, but I would say you know it's just a, a consolidation. But Bank Nifty performance was really very very bad. So, uh, you know, in the last week of the expiry, we have only three more trading sessions. Usually, the last three trading sessions tend to be more volatile, but today markets were not that volatile. And it was very, very stable, moving up and down also very slowly. Even the bank nifty moved very, very slowly only up or down. And uh, the most happy people in this series are the uh, option writers. So, they made fantastic money this time. Uh, India VIX moved 5% higher for no reason. So, that is something surprising. And we have underperformed the global markets for no reason. Again, surprising. HDFC Bank closed at the lowest point of the day. That is another surprising. So, you know, there are lots and lots of surprises. Um, while the global markets are moving, leaps and bounds, you know, uh, we are still just trying to uh, consolidate around 22,000. 
whether plus or minus 100 or 200 points you know so you know the things are not uh, really looking good but as i told you the longer the consolidation the next leg of the market it can be upside or downside that we don't know but it's going to be very very powerful i am expecting at least 1000 to 1500 point move on either side once when this range is broken out so anyway when technically you know the confirmation will come you know but that is not likely to happen any time now you know at least for next two weeks as i told you in the pre market report i am expecting just only a consolidation so let me check once again if any fa data is out right no it is still not out and uh, looking at the options you know as expected we have only two more trading sessions left so market is looking weak so there will be naturally aggressive call rating from 22100 and above there is aggressive call rating has happened but however in the last two days you know it's a very very high risk and high reward for one or the other reason if there is a big gap up of 200 250 point you know so these people will be in big trouble so but the way market you know structure looks you know even when the global markets are so good and we are not reacting you know at best you know we may open 40 50 point gap up you know so with that expectation people are selling uh, call options and aggressively but once in a while you know market will throw all the option writers you know out of the market you know maybe once or twice in a year so i don't think that that's going to happen so anyway option sellers would have made fantastic profit this month and then my workshop participants are eagerly waiting for this march series to be over so in the april series they can uh, take position for december series uh, with a less margin so i think we have already spoken enough of that so let us not talk about that once again so you know overall uh, consolidation is good for the market but only thing is today it has consolidated with a negative bias both nifty and bank nifty so let us hope tomorrow markets consolidate with some kind of a positive bias so right now the picture looks something like that so let us see what is going to happen tomorrow hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching